it's Cappy. I want to walk you through the stages of one of my paintings. So this is a picture of a site in Rome. I took this picture March 2nd, 2018. This is a statue by the sculptor Bernini called L'Elefantino, the little elephant. The image is cropped on the elephant, but he has this big Egyptian obelisk on his back. And this is around the corner from the Parthenon and it's a very walkable neighborhood. There's some good coffee shops nearby. So whenever I'm visiting Rome, I stop by and see L'Elefantino. So when I was thinking about what subjects I wanted to paint, I was thinking about my travels and he's one of my favorite sites, so I decided to paint him. So that was my inspiration. And once I found my photo and decided that it was a good model to begin the painting, I did a uh, sketch and I do most of my sketches with just a ballpoint pen and this one I did in a spiral bound notebook and originally I was going to do more of his body but I scrapped that idea and decided to just focus on his face there was too much detail on um, the little thing on his back and the little you can see he's got sort of a little bib on the front with tassels and I just didn't want the painting to take me 10 hours, so I decided to crop and focus in on his face. So that was my initial pen sketch, and I put the date on here. This was done right before the new year in preparation for my 100 canvases project. So I took the picture in 2018, and it didn't become fodder for my sketch until 2020. And once I had that sketch, I had to transfer it onto my canvas. So here is a 20 by 16 wrapped canvas, and I just basically redid the major elements of my sketch directly on the canvas with a graphite pencil. And I'm not super happy with the pencil, it's better than a pen, but if I'm using white paint, sometimes the graphite comes loose and bleeds into the paint, so I'm not set on that as my final process, but that's what I've been working on so far. And then the last phase is actually doing the painting. And it did take me a couple of hours to get all of it done, the orange I took from the photograph, a lot of buildings in Rome have that kind of exterior paint. And since the sculpture is in marble, I did sort of a mix of creams and then gray where the shadow naturally fell in the picture. And again, I love his cutie face. I'm pretty pleased with it. Nothing's ever perfect. If I wanted to fiddle with it for another hour, I'm sure I could improve on it, but I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied. It reminds me of all my vacations in Rome, and I'm pleased to call it a final painting. So I hope you enjoyed listening along to my process and seeing the stages of how I get a painting put together, and I hope you watch another video again soon. Thanks, bye!